Hello guys, it's Andrei and I'm making a video on the genetics of empathy. Uh, as you can see, this is in the presentation format, um, PDF. I made this PDF quite simple, it is a very simple to make and most of my videos from this point on will be made in this format. Get used to it. Uh, I think it's informative and easy to organize and I will be, I prefer it honestly to the previous format of my videos. So let's get on to the topic of genetics of empathy. It is almost a uniquely human trait. Although empathy and prosocial behavior is observed among other species, mostly primates, dogs, and to some extent other mammals, it does not come anywhere close to the level humans exhibit this trait. An important thing to note is that although mammals show emotional response towards their children, only humans and dogs are able to extend their empathy to the suffering of people unrelated to us and even members of other species. Empathetic and prosocial behavior in apes. Great apes are mammals, and just like every mammal, they are quite empathetic. However, they vary by the degree of prosocial behavior. The closest relatives to humans are chimps and bonobos, and research shows bonobos exhibit prosocial behavior to a much higher extent than chimps. Uh, I left the sources and citations in the PDF. The benefits of prosocial behavior in an evolutionary context. Bonobos are particularly interesting because they approach so social situations in much the same way humans do. Research shows that bonobos help each other out by sharing food in 73% of cases, compared to 46% in the case of chimpanzees. This behavior creates for a stable community and allows the species to develop a society like human society. Uh, here you can see that bonobos are also more likely to engage in socio-sexual behavior and playing with each other. Very similar to humans. Empathy versus selfishness. Although empathetic, prosocial strategy is definitely the noble strategy of societal development and is the one we follow, uh, there is another strategy, the selfish strategy. There are actually some evolutionary benefits to lacking empathy, which is why to this day, there are unfortunately some humans who lack this quality. Uh, selfishness has persisted even among humans because of the unique evolutionary advantage that prioritizing oneself over, over others gives. It is comparable to an invasive species. It's very good at dominating an environment created by prosocial empaths, but is fundamentally toxic and wouldn't survive on its own. Now let's get into the, um, the central topic of my video, the genetic variations that correlate with empathy in humans. Uh, the source for most of these is GLASS uh, Central, Genome-Wide Association Studies Central. Um, for the OXTR, I went from uh, the ones from OpenSNP, from uh, SNPedia. Uh, they are probably not as reliable as the ones from uh, Genome-Wide Association Studies Central but they are also important. I decided to include them in my video because they are important genes. So let's start with this one. This is uh, within UB, UBE. I'm not going to read the name of these genes because besides OXTR, they don't really tell me anything. I don't, I'm not such a nerd that I would remember all of these names by the hand, by the mind. So let's start with the first one, the C allele correlates with a decrease in empathy and we see a pattern here a pattern begins to emerge of East Asians uh, having the highest frequencies of the unempathetic or asocial antisocial alleles uh, so as we see East Asians Koreans and Japanese I choose uh, to only include Japanese in my screenshot as the Korean sample was smaller in size are the least empathetic let's get on to the second one this is if you really want to go I want to go, if you really want to go back you can go back and see this is the OR7H2P but I don't want to go back and read the gene for every one of these so let's just ignore that uh, once again we see this pattern of East Asians carrying the alleles for antisocial behavior uh, I noticed this pretty early on but for some reason for some reason any genotype that has to do with antisociality is most common in East Asians uh, the next one the A allele has to do with uh, more empathy, and once again, once again, we see the same pattern. The same pattern emerges uh, here. T uh, allele correlates with less empathy, and 
to be fair, no population really has the the alternative or C allele at a at a markable notable frequency. I mean, even among Estonians and Americans who had it at the highest frequency, it was only like one percent, one point six percent. So it's not that relevant. But uh, yeah, here the G allele correlates with less empathy, and once again, nothing surprising. East Asians, as always, are the most antisocial. With the uh, South Asians and Americans being the mo and the Africans being the most pro-social. Actually, the Africans are the most pro-social here. Next, this is within the OXTR gene. Uh, it plays a role in not only empathetic behavior but also in autism and various psychiatric disorders. Uh, the G allele correlates to less empathy. And here we see the same pattern, Oceanians and East Asians having the highest frequency of the sociopathic or G allele, and Africans having the lowest frequency of it, with Europeans and the rest being somewhere in the middle. Next. This is also within the OXTR gene. Uh, by the way, if you just look in your raw data file, you might not even have most of these SMPs, because like, it's... Um, they are on GVAS because it's uh, the, the, because they do studies with uh, whole genome sequencing, and whole genome sequencing contains these SNPs. But your MyHeritage or 23andMe file probably does not contain them, which is a bummer. But you can always extend it. You can extend your file on DNA Genix, just so you know. I've done that for myself. All right, so this is within the OXTR gene. Once again, we see that the highest frequencies of the T or lower empathy. Uh, genotypes are in Japanese, Koreans, East Asians, the usual suspects, and the lowest are in Africans and Americans. So, has sociopathic behavior helped East Asians survive? Sociopathic behavior, coupled with good social skills and good brain chemistry, can help the individual advance in society. Think about politicians or cops. But when it comes together with social impairments or poor brain structure, it is a recipe for failure. Perhaps in East Asian society, selfishness was historically more beneficial than altruism. Hence the discrepancy in allele frequencies demonstrated earlier. What is the role of the OXTR gene beyond empathy? First of all, what is OXTR? OXTR is the oxytocin receptor gene and it regulates the release of oxytocin within the brain. Oxytocin has been dubbed the love hormone because changes in oxytocin concentration have been shown to correlate with affection. First, reading the mind in the eyes. A study of autistic adolescents found correlation between prosocial alleles within the OXTR gene and the ability to read and properly evaluate eye expressions. Although I haven't found sources to support my hypothesis, I'm sure OXTR correlates with the ability to accurately express one's emotions as well. Alcohol consumption, alcohol, excuse my English. Uh, antisocial A allele carriers of the OXTR SNP 53579 were less likely to regularly consume alcohol. Among regular alcohol consumers, number of alcoholic drinks per week was positively associated with peripheral OT in regression models excluding observations of high influence. So essentially higher oxido oxytocin correlates with higher uh, alcohol drinks. And this is it. Subscribe if you like the video. Many more to come.